Hey guys, in this video we are going to continue our Next 3 Prisma tutorial. Last time we saw that we can now add users to our database. So for example, let's say we wanted to add a user named uh, Martha May. Okay. And we get that. And if we look at our database, no, not there. Yeah, okay, gotta go to localhost. Where's my ZAMP? All right. So here's what this looks like in the database. We just added a user named Martha May and it's a um, database is Prisma, table is users, and now you see there's Martha May. Okay, in this video, we're gonna talk about how now we can read the users that we have added. So if we go to Prisma CRUD, you can take a look at this website here. So what reading users does. So all you gotta do is just go, um, I guess find unique, but what if you wanted to just read all of them? You can read a record by user or just to read. I think if we just say read, we'll be able to yeah get all the records. Just say find many. So Prisma user dot find many. That's pretty simple to do. All right, so let's do that. And the way we're going to do this is we are going to go to users dot get. I'm just going to copy all of this here. Actually, probably don't need to do well. All right. So it's a get request. We won't use body because it would just say problems. Actually, all we need to do. All we need to do really here is just prisma users dot get and we don't of course don't need any data. We don't need to send any data. And we don't need that either. So pretty much we can just say um Let's see what happens if we just say return this, right? Return. That. It's just a find many. <laughs> okay, users that find many. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So here we, we know that Prisma is just going to return an object. So that's why we can uh, do this. And then we actually don't need this event object. All right, let's see what we get. If we go to our postman and we're gonna guess, we're gonna say get. So we expect to get to it re to return all the users. Okay, so that means that we need to restart our server. Stop and restart the server. Because the cat it's still reading from the cache. I wonder if there's a way to um, clear the cache like you can do in Laravel. I bet there is. All righty. Let's try that again. Still saying API read users. So let's try to figure this out. What, why are, why are we running into this? Oh, I didn't, I didn't save that. I switched between Mac and 
PC and it's just oh man you have to use the command button in Mac but the control button in PC man I'm getting all confused here this should work now there we go all right so this re returns all the users in our database here so we've now seen how we can add a user right if we want to add a user we send post and uh, you can add a user here say me user we send a post request and that adds the user to the database if we do a get request of all the users and then returns all of them and there's our user right there and let's take a look at the database We've got our database here. We're just going to refresh this. And there are our users. All right, so that's great. That's, uh, about, that's about it for this video. In the next one, God willing, we are going to see how we can delete a user. That should not be hard. Alrighty, see you soon. Oh yeah, before you go, if you want to have a Nox3 Tailwind starter kit, like this one, which comes with pages, layouts, use head composable components, and it looks like this, right? It has a, um, also has some uh, types here, TypeScript has components. I just click the link below this video and it's yours absolutely free. It can help you get started building your own Nox3 Tailwind application. Hope you like this video. Talk to you soon.